Now moving on, the country has over the past couple of weeks witnessed rainfall at a time that we are accustomed to getting sunshine and an uh, aspect that uh, the National Meteorological Service says is not entirely unusual. I sat down with Chris Kipto, rather it was a virtual interview with Chris Kipto, a climate scientist at the Meteorological Service who tells us what to expect from the weather going forward and what is in store for farmers as they go about their economic activities. Take a look. Chris, what do you make of the current weather in comparison with the same period last year? Have the patterns shifted or stayed the same? Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Nina, for having me in the interview. Um, the patterns haven't really shifted as much, but the seasons have become they have lengthened. So June, July and August is normally a cold season for most parts of Kenya, especially central Kenya, parts of central and southern Rift Valley. Uh, but now we are having a cold air mass from southern Africa that is being blown into uh, into the country. And because of that, uh, at the moment, uh, the systems haven't changed because now we are going into a transition period from a cold season to a, to a, to a dry season uh, in September. And again, now we go into the short trains beginning in October. All right, so there seems to be a shift when we expected, as you just mentioned, when we expected the rainy season, we got the sun. When we expected the sun, we actually got the rain. Now we have rain, actually, as we speak. What would you say has caused the shift in weather patterns in layman's terms? Kindly just explain to us in layman's terms, but also in detail. Okay, most people would attribute this to climate change, but uh, what I would say is climate variability. mentioned before. Uh, we are having a cold air mass from southern Africa because we just had the southern winter in the southern hemisphere. So this cold air mass, uh, which is being pushed upwards uh, into uh, the equatorial region, um, is bringing with, with it cold air. And uh, we are having south southeasterlies, uh, which are blowing from the south. So this winds, uh, when they blow from the south, they bring with it cold air and cool and cloudy conditions uh, tend to persist over most parts of the country, especially over central Kenya, uh, including Nairobi, and parts of central and southern Rift Valley. Uh, after the seasons, uh, we've seen now the June, July, and August uh, season has continued into September. But as we go into October, and possibly towards the end of this month, uh, the cool and cloudy conditions are likely to reduce. All right, and, and, and Chris, would you say this is a norm? Because if it's not a shift in the weather, and it's not a shift in the conditions, is this something that uh, normally happens sometimes? Yes, it has happened before in other years. Mm -hmm. And um, what normally we are seeing right now is that uh, no, September is normally a wet month still in parts of uh, western Kenya mm -hmm. and some parts uh, of uh, the central Rift Valley. But this time what we are seeing is that uh, uh, the rain has spilled over into central Kenya and parts of Nairobi. So it is not necessarily something unusual, but it occurs because of climate variability. And what does this mean for those in business, like directly involved with the weather, such as farmers? Uh, for farmers, uh, we usually advise them to uh, work with the Ministry of Agriculture. And uh, as of now, uh, eastern Kenya is it is uh, normally a very good season for them, for the farmers in uh, eastern Kenya. Yeah. It's their main season, um, so it is uh, good of them to start preparing their land uh, as we go into the short rain season in uh, October. However, in our forecast that we release for the coming short rain season, we see that uh, we are likely to see uh, depressed rainfall uh, in the coming season. Uh, unlike last year when we had a lot of rainfall, which has continued even up to uh, this month, However, uh, southeastern part of the country, north, northeastern part of the country and the coastal region will continue experiencing uh, lesser rainfall in the coming season. Actually, that was my next question to you. What um, weather should be expected moving forward? So, uh, as we go into uh, the, uh, September further, uh, we are likely to see uh, uh, redu reduced rainfall. But for Western Kenya and parts of Central Kenya, uh, the rainfall may be persistent um, in the coming week and even next week. Uh, but as we go into uh, October now, 
we are likely to see dry conditions uh, because we are we are, go we are we are going into a transition period. So uh, there's going to be uh, warmer temperatures by by the end of the month and possibly into uh, October, and dry conditions are likely to start. And by the second or third week, uh, parts of Western Kenya are likely to start receiving again uh, some rainfall. Okay, thank you so much, Kiptumi. Unless there's something you'd like to add? Um, maybe just uh, the public uh, to keep on seeing our updates uh, online, uh, on Twitter, on Facebook, and uh, equally on our website. And uh, if they have any questions, they can always uh, get, get in touch with us. Okay, thank you and, uh, so much. We do appreciate you giving us your time. Okay, thank you so much. All right.